I'd love to tell you it's going to be easy. That you can just go out into the world, do a few things, make a few moves, then you'll be rich. It doesn't work like that. If you're going to make it, you got to get real doggish. You got to get real gritty. When you have something in mind that you want, if you're going to see it become a reality, you got to get absolutely fucking dedicated to that thing. It's got to become your new fucking lifestyle. You got to commit your very being to that thing. You got to eat it, you got to breathe it, you got to sleep it. You've got to want that thing so bad that all the people around you think you're insane. You got to want it more than you want to party. You got to want it more than you want to rest. You got to want it more than any of the short-term gratifications that tempt you to take the easy way. There's no easy way for you. There is only the way. And that way is the way of discipline, dedication, and hard work. If anybody tells you to be more balanced, they don't get it. All the average motherfuckers are afraid of dedicating themselves to something for more than a few fucking days. You got to allow yourself to be unbalanced for days, months, years, however much time you need in order to build that life, that dream, that thing you want so bad. All the average motherfuckers will wish for it. They'll hope for it. They'll talk about it, but you'll be the one who gets up and works for it. You got to dedicate every second of your fucking life to that thing you want. You got to be willing to cut people off that don't support you. You got to give every single day every ounce of fucking energy and effort you have in order to pull it off. When you push yourself to that level of obsession and drive when everyone thinks you're insane. You're psycho. You're losing your mind. You're at the exact right level of what it'll take to become the best. No one great ever made it to the top through being casual. You have to force your body and mind to operate on such a high level that others are scared to reach for. So you got to make the decision. Are you willing to do the things required to go to that level? Because if you can reach the point where your mindset is, I will do whatever the fuck I have to do to win. You will dominate every single challenge and competitor you face. Dedicate yourself to the activity. Dedicate yourself to one month, six months, a year, five years. I don't know what stage you're at, but you got to push yourself to go further than you have been. You have more in you. The difference between the average guy and the winner on top is the average guy does what he knows he's supposed to do, what he knows is good for him, but falls off the plan after a few days, a few weeks, a few months, a few years. The winner on the other hand, they stick to it relentlessly. They never stop. They do what they know they got to do and go even further. They break through the mental barriers people make up in their minds. They stick to the task for as long as it fucking takes to get whatever the hell they want. They don't give up what the weather's like, what time it is, what day it is, what's going on in the rest of the world. They focus purely on the task at hand. And they nail it to the very best of their ability every single time, every single day. If you stay consistent, you can do what many think to be impossible for one person. A person can move mountains given enough time, enough energy, enough persistence, enough discipline, enough consistency. All it takes is you getting up and doing those things you know you got to do without any interruption, without any deviation, without anything getting in the way. You don't leave room for your feelings to get a say in whether you execute or not. No, you do what needs to be done without any internal debates. You keep your focus on that thing you want and you don't allow anyone or anything to pull you away from it. The power is in the routine. If you make your daily routine consist of all those things you got to do, you will 100% get there. It's only a matter of time. Only the disciplined ones are free in life. If you are in discipline, you are a slave to your moods. You are a slave to your passions. I wish there was a magic wand that I could wave that your passion, your dream, that thing you want to achieve, it could just happen, but it can't. Hard work is required. When the alarm clock goes off in the morning, get up. Don't wait, don't hesitate. When the alarm clock goes off in the morning, get up. Every time you pick that easy path of hitting the snooze button, you're getting weaker. You've got to decide that the next 10 minutes of sleep is not worth sacrificing your dreams and goals. You got to get the hell up and get to work. Do some days you just aren't going to have the 
compassion. That doesn't mean that you still aren't going to do it. That doesn't mean that it's not for you, which is what people who lose over and over and over do. Every single thing that you look at and you think about as a great accomplishment was done by someone who overcame the same tiredness that you have. They worked harder than you and they didn't use it as an excuse. No matter who you are, everyone's gonna pay that payment one way or another. You either pay it here on your terms when no one's watching, or you pay it later coming up short. And I'll fall down in 10 times. Who gives a shit? As long as I get up 11. Oh, you want the rewards, but you don't want the work that come with the rewards. Don't expect front row seats if you're giving those bleed efforts. Everybody wanna win, but everybody don't wanna work. We all gotta work. Don't be upset by the results you didn't get from the work you did not do. I want you to be like, I didn't get the results because I didn't do the work. I didn't show up on time. I didn't do what I said I was going to do. I hit the snooze button. I made an excuse. Rewards come after you work, not before. The only place where success comes before work is in a dictionary. It takes real dedication, real drive, real commitment to do something great. That shit doesn't come easy. You've got to work hard, harder than you think you can harder than anyone else is willing to. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. It's a good thing for you and me. Nobody wants to do it. Everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it. But nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. You are going to be tired. You cannot count on every day feeling great. Your effort has to always be beyond what your energy level is. Nobody who ever ran the Olympics and trained and worked out and finished and crossed the finish line effectively got there because they felt like working out. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity. Because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is. It is, I am going to fucking succeed no matter what I have to do, no matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult the road, no matter how many obstacles stand in my way, no matter how many people stand in my way, no matter what. On the days I don't feel like it, guess what? I'm still getting up, I'm still putting my fucking work boots on, and I'm still going out and kicking fucking ass because I'm fucking dedicated to this goal. I'm dedicated to making sure I get results. I don't have to be the most qualified. I don't have to be the most talented. All I got to begin to do is to apply myself, and by default, I'm gonna separate myself from the crowd. You have to commit to becoming better. You have to commit to being a person of action. You have to commit to being someone who doesn't just talk, but follows through. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. And you need to remember that. This is what champions do. They don't give a f what's happening in the world. They don't let the distractions of the day pull them off course. Do those things make it harder for them to do it? Yes. But what does that mean? It means that we focus. It means we get more discipline. It means we prioritize. And it means we keep moving forward. Because when everybody else is falling off, when everybody else is looking around at the chaos and the economy and all these other things, guess what happens? You end up 10 miles down the road while they end up in the same spot.